The music relaxes me. You don't like this? I like it. It's just hurting my ears. Oh my god, this is so loud. Let me have bad hearing. Inside of my headphones. Ah. Hold on. Is your are the vocals too loud? What? No. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, no, right now. No. Really sensitive ears when I wear headphones for a long time. It starts hurting. Noted. Does my hair look okay? Mm -mm. <laughs> so if I'm not funny, you're going to cut all of it out. Well, you're not funny. So <laughs> let's just stop. <laughs> what? So I'm kidding. I'll I'm just kidding. leave right now. I'm kidding. Well, 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 you, you came out here to be funny? Well, you just said your last episode. I'm mm -hmm. not going to say that, what you said, actually. What I said? Some of, uh, some you of, just said I, I cut out the boring parts? Like, yeah. It doesn't mean it wasn't funny. I mean, like, the boring is, like... Um, not entertaining. Yeah. It's right there. <clears throat> Welcome back to another episode of The Control Room. We're back. Oh, fuck, we're back. Everybody's happy, everybody's smiling. Uh, <laughs> Juice is back. Yeah. Juice, bro, we fucking missed you last week, dog. I know. Was it tough? The I know the immigration laws are getting harder, especially in your Texas. Mm -hmm. They passed, or they, uh, did they pass a law or they trying to pass a law? I don't know. You know, long was talking that about, real? It seemed a little like, out there. Right? It was, the law was like, if you get caught... With someone in your car that doesn't have papers, then they, you're trafficking uh, violated. Like you yeah. get jail. Like it's trafficking. Is that really why you weren't here? Yeah, it was. It was pretty tough. I actually rather not talk about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, but let's yeah. talk Sorry. about it. So, <laughs> were, did they have you in one of the little cages? Um, they put me like you know something like in a trunk, you know, and um, I was hidden under a blanket. Are you serious? But when they deported, when they caught you, they didn't catch me. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh, I'm here. Hey, that boy, juice free, baby. He's here. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. I'm going through something similar with my family. Oh my god, you were you were joking. Yeah, he's an American. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're a fucking asshole. Yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked yeah. up. You know what's fucked up? And you both are a part of it. Yeah. Now. I mean, he's Mexican, so you can talk about it. All right. But he's here. I'm here, and I I made it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great start. Great yeah. start. <laughs> Well, welcome back to another episode of the Control Room Podcast. I'm C.A. The Don, as always. Uh, Drew's in the building. Como estas, Drew? We be in Temple. The temple's in the back. Smiling. Why are you smiling? Huh? Huh? We got Juice in the building. And then we have a guest, special guest, friend of the podcast, friend of me, DeSanti, a.k.a. Internet Barbie, a.k.a. DeSanti. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? How do you say your last name? Carden? White, 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 white. Yeah. White, white, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. That's it. Um, I know you use Desanti. Most people know you use Desanti, but you have a second personality. Yeah. Internet Barbie. Yeah. Do you ever? That's like a thing with women. Like. Is it? Miley Cyrus, Hannah Montana, um, <laughs> Sasha <laughs> Fierce, Sasha Fierce, Beyonce. But that's different. Um, Lizzo, Rod Wave. No. Like they they what? take on different names. Do, do no, that's like my yo. that's do like you, my music brand though. Bro, the, oh. Do you think that women do that to like uh, to avoid taking accountability for their own <laughs> action? Oh, this was just this personality. No, I think it's a a brand that I created for music. Mm -hmm. Just how I don't know. But they're different people, or they're the same. No, it's the same person. Same person. Yeah. Cool. Same okay. person, but now mm -hmm. I can like, like Miley Cyrus and Hannah Montana. Yeah, like Hannah Montana has her own music, but Miley Cyrus is like the human being. Mm. Like, so you don't feel like uh, your internet Barbie music speaks to who you are as this auntie, or that's just like a different side? I think it's a segment of it. Ooh, a segment. Yeah, but I feel like there's a lot of artists that don't, aren't in complete alignment with their music brand. It's like a persona. And you can tell that, and you can tell easily, like, like kind of like a... Uh, like who? I'm trying to think of somebody. Well, Hannah Montana fit it pretty well. Okay, let's stop talking about <laughs> Hannah Montana. I don't, think, I don't know. I don't that's think, that's think like, it's a woman thing though. I used to. I used to when I was a kid. I was like what, 14, 15? When I watched Hannah Montana, I used to. That was porn. Oh. I used to watch Hannah Montana beat off. <laughs> Whoa. Are you Bruh. Okay. Is there any like uh, cartoon show or anybody you had a crush on growing up, like watching on TV? Any show? Um. Yes. Jimmy Neutron. Okay, let's dissect that. 
It's not a real answer, but we'll go with that. It's a real answer. He's cartoon, and he's and I watched him. Oh, so what did like, you, wow. you find attractive about him? I just think he was so smart. Oh, so you like brains? Brain blast. Yeah. Also, Dexter's laboratory. Ah, uh, you like? Yeah. Ugh, his, ugh, his, what, what was he Russian? No. German. <laughs> he was German. Yeah. Was he? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know it's Dexter laboratory. <laughs> I was just like, he's nerdy. He's smart. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dexter was a Nazi. Think about it. What? Dexter bro. was a Nazi, Where do you bro. Get that? He was German. His accent. Dexter laboratory. To the laboratory. He did bro. not talk like that. He was very quiet. He talked like that. No, he didn't. Can we pull up a Dexter clip, bro? Maybe like the narrator, I think, in the show. There was a narrator? I don't think there was a narrator. There was a narrator, yeah. Did you have cable growing up? You watched it? <laughs> I you swear watching to God. the right one? I actually watched it in Spanish. We <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> do you remember? <laughs> when I was a kid. I get it. Uh, for the listeners he, right now, Juice is having a me- meltdown. Right he barely now. talked. <laughs> He didn't really talk as much. Yeah, he didn't talk. I like the quiet ones. You like the you like quiet guys? Yeah. Okay. As long as I am here, I might as well. Okay, Dexter, think cool. He's German. You know what's funny is that. Yeah, I mean he does have an accent. I just can't tell what it is. Not an American accent. You remember uh, you remember uh, the Mexican Sesame Street Plaza Sesame? Yeah. That was hard. But that wasn't, it wasn't Sesame Street dubbed in Spanish. It was literally it was a separate Spanish, show. It was in Spanish, yeah. So when I went to Mexico for the first time as a kid, we went to the Plaza Sesmo Park. They have like That's a Disney funny. World for that. Yeah. It was fire. That's funny. Kids getting kidnapped back and forth. Yeah. So you drive a Tesla. Yeah. When you were driving it, it sounded like it was hovering. It's pretty cool. Yeah, like a spaceship. Yeah. Do you ever use self drive? Sometimes. I feel like women should have, all women should have Teslas, and I think less car accidents and traffic would happen. It's I don't a, think women should drive, period. Yeah, women shouldn't drive. That's what I'm saying. Why am I driving? Vote, work, oh, things Watch. like that. I don't think women. I think women should be driven. Hmm. <laughs> okay. That's you a think, bar. Should, I really... should y'all pay for those services or should it be free? It should be free. Okay. Who who <laughs> should be doing the driving? The car. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on. Hold on. That's, a great, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great answer. The car, the car. Have you seen those cars that self drive, but like actually in Houston, like in real life? No, what do you mean? They're like little, I don't even remember the type of car, but I saw one downtown the other day. You have one? No, they're not Teslas. They drive by themselves. And do what? And they say it on the outside of the car. It says, this car is self-driving. Keep a lookout or whatever. And they have like cameras all over them. Oh, they have like a big camera on the satellite, roof. the satellite things. Yeah, yeah, The cars. Yeah, those are the for satellite, like Google Maps, stuff like that. You ever, no, you ever no, wonder? They're driving themselves. Yes, 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 and they have the camera so that that captures like the shit we see on Google Maps. Uh, no, but it's not that. No, it is. It's that. like four. It's like four. Promo. Drive. No. It's What's like, it doing? It's giving people rides. Oh, like oh. like a like a, like a, like like a, a Uber. taxi. Yeah, like yeah. an Uber. You ride in the back. Oh, no of it. driver. Oh, that's yeah, how you there's kidnap. no driver. <laughs> that's how you kidnap people. Yeah. <laughs> hey, free ride. Come on. Damn. I don't know how to get on it. No, because I know I that's know a thing. That's a thing. People, uh, the cars with the satellite cameras, and that's how we see, get the Google Maps images. No. I learned. I learned. What? Yeah. I thought those are real people that have cameras, and then they go out to like a ditch and then like take a picture of themselves. No, no. <laughs> I've seen the Google Dude, car every, too, though. Every Bruh. single house, every ad, you, you, they get live images of streets. How I've you, seen the Google car. Yeah, but yeah. it's being driven by a person. Right. Right. But now so this anymore. is a different concept. No, I don't know. You know, yeah, this they're changing. Like it. They're changing it. They're changing it. There's person a... giving people rides. Mm. Would you ride in it? No, I don't even like people driving me. You can ask any of my friends. <laughs> I'm down to drive. I don't That's even ask you for gas money. I drive everybody ever because I hate being in the passenger. Uh, I don't trust. I don't trust. I don't trust people on the road, and I don't trust anybody driving. Like if I'm gonna yeah. die in a car accident, which is the worst way to go, in my opinion, you want to be in control. It, it's it's not gonna happen because I'm driving. Right, 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 but you uh, just like being in control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just like having all my things with me in my trunk. That like, too, and I like being able to leave when I need to leave. Exactly. Which is ten minutes into anything we're doing. I need my two including crash. this podcast. So that's been another episode of the I'm Control Room Podcast. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I expected a better life than that. Um, it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. But you're funny. Tell us a joke. Stop. <laughs> I don't do that. You don't do jokes? No. What's the last time you told a joke? I don't do that. I don't tell jokes. Oh. We were, on the way here, we were talking about, <clears throat> we and it, it comes to what uh, something I want to talk to you about. Uh, we were talking about Kai Sinat's seven-day 
stream in jail. Y'all heard about that? You know what? Kai Kai Sinat? No. He's a he's a Twitch streamer. Okay. Okay. And he did a seven day, twenty four seven live stream. In jail. Uh, it was a fake jail. They, oh, I think they got like what? a I think they got like a, a made jail set or running out of old jail, whatever. And he would have a bunch of celebrities and streamers come on every day. Some would leave, like mm-hmm. rappers would come, blah, blah, and they just like. But he pretended to be in jail. They're, yeah, they're all Wouldn't dressed that, in jail. Like, offend people. So that that's what that's, I feel like that, that that's the backlash. That's not cool. That's the backlash. That's, <laughs> that's the backlash. Kind of fucked up. Okay, but okay, let me break the context down of, of what the streams were. Okay. So a lot of content creators do that jail bit, like Drewski, really? and, like Drewski and them. They'll do like, oh, when boys are fresh out of jail, like, and then the, the sh- they'll act okay. like people are fresh out of jail, stuff like that. And so um, that that's where that came from, and they were doing that, and they're they're having fun with it. It was getting a lot of views and stuff, and it's comedy. It's comedy. And people were giving that same backlash. Oh, you're glorifying jail. It's offensive to people actually been in jail. You can tell who's who's been in jail, who hasn't. Um, yeah, maybe you're not kind of promoting it. Yeah, you're kind of promoting it. How do you feel? Like yeah. it's a good thing. So how do you no, feel? No, I, I wouldn't say promoting it. I would say that there's people going through really tough times because their family members are in jail or they're in jail for some fucked up shit or some unjust shit. Okay. And Absolutely. And and it's it, but fun. I feel like all the younger generations are watching this and it's like, yo, come to jail. In a, in a way of like this is how it is right. you know what i mean and or it really like is normalizing it exactly and it's not so i feel like that's why i say promoting it in such a way but they probably don't see that they see it as content and yeah. money and dollar signs and such <coughs> and such they've probably never had someone they care about go to jail you know or they've probably never been to jail themselves um which is a flex shout out to y'all in jail <laughs> goofies i'm out here free hold up talk that shit boy and catch me Ain't gonna catch me. Not nah, uh, like, free to guys. But you're rolling up illegal. Um, I feel like it's bullshit. Uh, people that are mad at that <clears throat> because it's simple. Should we never watch another jail movie? That's not what that means. It's the same thing. But it's not being mad at the viewers. It's being mad at the people putting it on. That's not. That's what I'm saying. So, so should we be mad at directors that make <clears throat> jail movies? Okay, let's talk through this because I. Th- I see where you're coming from. So people directing movies are doing it to actors. show a storyline, right? Mm-hmm. Like the point of the movie is to have a story to express creatively, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Regardless if it's a serious movie, comedy, whatever uh, people make. Yeah, I guess they do make comedies about jail, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, they make comedy in jail. I guess be- maybe because it's an influencer and it's so homemade mm-hmm. that people are look at it differently right right that could be it that could be it i also just think people just have like a stick up their ass like relax guys i don't know i do feel like it's a little cringier and like when it's well cringy the taste part if you enjoy it or not is different like it's tacky it's tacky okay but that comes with like uh it's subject that comes with like if you like if you enjoy the content or not but i don't think when we're talking about is he wrong for it i don't see any difference in that and movies about jail, uh, s- songs about jail, traps, mm. rap about jail, or about anything. There's movie. Okay. There's movies about the human centipede. Have y'all seen that movie where the guy All gets like them. ten yeah. people and everybody's eating their ass except for the last guy? I don't know how he got that. And the guy in the front. Nobody ever talks about the guy on human centipede in the front. Yeah, God. Like, yeah. <laughs> I think the best position is the front or the back. Really? Why the back? I mean, cause you're you're no one's gonna be eating your ass. You know? uh, you, that's a uh, getting your like ass aids a good not thing. Safe. <laughs> and your ass aids a good thing. Well, you I think the front's the best though. Yeah. yeah. Would love to see that. Huh? What were we saying about jail? <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of people get their ass ate in jails, which I was getting at. <laughs> no, I was saying so. Like, mo- people make movies about the most. F- every single movie, damn near, this fucked up like shit. But they're like professional movie career yeah, directors and, and right. they're described that's their art it's their art i uh, guess this it's, live streamer that's his that's art, his art. That's, yeah yeah it's just his art and i feel like it's maybe it's harder for people to look at that because live streams look real and talking about so it's like more like personal like it's real but it's more like home but but it but main. but it's it's content he's being creative he's having fun it's art it's, it's art. his career i feel like it's been oversaturated i would just wish that he didn't do that because he could have went some different route I mean, I, just, I, just I mean, like I mean, it's, it's over. It. He, it's done, and it he's gonna done. move on to the next. Do you right. think he did it on purpose to be controversial? Because he knew uh, people no. get, would get worked up. No, I don't. Th- I think uh, the whole That's a good point. no, and that is a good point. It's not, but it's a good point. But I'm gonna break it down okay. as I always do. Uh, <laughs> okay, no, no. Say the whole the and my point is the same reason why I don't know if he was so mad about it. Um, 
a lot of content has been made past two, three years by online comedians, especially black comedians like Drewski and uh, Desi Banks. So they are jail bits. We see all the time that mm, mm, she so funny. Like, so funny. like shit like that or the whole like a demon home pussy. Remember Drewski was like, oh, well, when guys get uh, come out of jail for the first day, this is how they act. And it's him walking out of jail like demon home pussy. Like all that shit. This shit funny. So that shit's been a trend for a while. And I think that's why Kai, he, he leaned into it. It's funny. And he tried it, you know, and that's it. I feel like people, I don't know. I just don't see the difference between that and, like, movies and music. It's art. Okay. Right? Yeah, I get it. Did I, did I win you over? Yeah. No, I'm I not saying you should you would enjoy it. Like, maybe I you don't like it. I still think it's tacky, but I see where you're coming from. All right. Look, n- look, nobody enjoys black people in jail more than me, right? But watching those streams, it Bruh. just shows me. It's, 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 it was 24, it was seven days, 24 hours of improv. That's what, like they were literally. Yeah. That, that's what's yeah. impressive to me. Like they slept there. Yeah, like, and they really? had cameras rolling on camera. They yeah. all slept there. That's crazy. They would fake breakouts. Like Drewski broke out. DDG broke out. Like that's pretty funny. Uh, it sounds like the alternative version of Mr. Beast. <laughs> yeah, like, this yeah. crazy mm-hmm. shit. And at the end, the end of the, the whole stream, Mr. Beast bailed them out. Five hundred thousand really? dollars. Gave him five hundred. Donated five hundred thousand wow. dollars, and they ended it. So I'm sure that pissed off a lot of people. Right, and so the whole thing going on right now was. Right after that happened, Mr. Beast's new video was him uh, making water wells in Africa. Like, oh. a bunch of water wells. Just came, can people we give were it getting onto him about, <laughs> about yeah, the yeah. him healing the people. The with blind. The, yeah. yeah. How dare he? People were pissed off. They're like, why, why, why? Because he's monetizing it. Yeah. But how do you think he can afford to do like all this? That's his career. Not that, just that. How I totally could, agree. How, how, how do they think he can afford to make these wells and cure the blind? Yeah. Through the money he makes from monetizing it. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. like, it makes no sense. Like, I just think it's a so a lot of people uh, shout out to Kieran the Nomad. I destroyed him in a debate this morning, but he said that it, j- it just seems that Mr. Beast planned that with Kai Sinat. That's why he paid him that money to promote uh, his n- new video uh, with the Wells. That'd be actually I mean, I really cool. It. I don't doubt it. it. Why not? Because the whole jail bit thing has been a trend in the black comedy community. Oh, okay. It's been a thing, you know. So I don't think it's Mr. Beast, but. Either way, yeah, get the most views you can. Fuck it, make that money off that, and be able to keep doing what you do. Mr. Beast does amazing work. Yeah, he uh, works a crazy amount. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. we stop. could use your help, Mr. Beast. Uh, we <laughs> could use your help. We could use your help over here. You have a full team. I do. How I, do you? How do you? Well, how? well, uh, I when we were in like eighth grade, he almost drowned, so I saved him from drowning. He's so in debt forever. <laughs> I know him for life, uh, hermano por vida, uh, and then Juice. Um, I, I told you the immigration thing, so that, yeah. I had that covered. So they're basically okay. on debt for life okay. with me, basically how it goes. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> you ever thought about storytelling? Like, uh, I try to. Like writing books? Why do you say that? That's a good idea. Yeah. Who would read that? What do you mean who would read that? <laughs> Motherfuckers, they read. I try to storytell in my vlogs. Okay. Yeah. So write a book about your vlog, right? No. All right. When when uh when when you talk about storytelling and vlogs, do you like sp- are you vocalizing like narrating through the B roll or you just do it through the? Um, uh, both. But each vlog should have a storyline mm-hmm. or multiple little story peaks, mm-hmm. and then you put them into one, just like a YouTube video, like Mr. Beats. He scripts everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. He does. I don't. I'm not too familiar with vlogs. I don't really watch a lot of vlogs. Were you vlogging at one point? Yeah, but y- <laughs> yeah, I guess that's vlogging, right? Yeah. Whenever I, anytime I have a, a video shoot or a studio session, we would shoot BTS. So that's like vlogging, kind of. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Yes. But I never really treated it like a vlog, kind of. Like a day in the life. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. a full. Oh yeah, no, no. I think okay. I, I am. Um, it's hard. It, it's hard because like I wake for the. I was told this morning for the first hour of the day when I wake up. I want to kill somebody, <laughs> like, like homicide. Like I don't have suicidal thoughts. Like I got murder on my mind. Like I just wake up like that every fucking morning. I look at my dog. Like bitch, look at me back. How dare you look at me back? Just ready. Um, so I think it'd be hard to wake up and vlog, you know, because I'm not in the mood until like. No one said it had to be in the morning. But then it's unauthentic. Then I'm like those guys that like set up their tripod. Come come shopping with me for a day. Like they set their phone up before they walk into the grocery store. You think then that's they... lame? You literally recorded yourself singing. 
Mm-hmm. Where? Country song. Yeah, uh, but I set it up and I sang to it, but I didn't set it up. You don't the, think that's worse, like singing? No, because I didn't set the camera up and they pretended to wake up. <laughs> 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 like, like set the camera aside and be like. Oh. Okay, so you have ba- there's a line like that's yeah. your that's the that's your line that's your boundary. Yes. Yeah, nah, it's it's fake, it, do what y'all it? do. I think I just say that because I don't look good enough. I feel like if I you know I was like shredding and shit, like I I get it. That's really what those guys. Confidence. Do. The guys that do it's not confidence. You know, I walk. <laughs> like, hey, 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 my bad. Oh, you know, talking about I walk, in, I walk in like uh, you know, I walk in the room like I just like I yeah. just I just left like the dealership, you yeah. know, and just closed out on like a like I didn't get approved for the credit loan, <laughs> but they said, hey, come back in about a month, and we'll review it again. That's how I walk into that room like, hey, there's a chance, there's a chance. Like um, we approved you, but we need this much more down. Mm-hmm. Huh? I can't hear you. You were mumbling. Okay, what I'm not you? repeating it. Oh, we'll try it again. No, it doesn't hit as well. Wow. Good. It didn't hit well the first time, so <laughs> it's nothing to it's, lose. It got it left. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, vlogging's gay. Um, <laughs> what do you think of Kim Kardashian's new bra with the nipple? Oh, the fake nipple. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break the fuck up. Let me lick that shit <laughs> soon. Let me suck it. See, my problem is like. Um, my problem with that Kim Kardashian skin thing is skin or skim? Skims. She lucky did a deal with NBA too. It's kind of cool. Oh yeah, I mm-hmm. saw that. What's now the Now the guy's got nipples. Came out of nowhere. Yeah, and got the NBA. Not all the NBA. It really did though. I feel like she's killing it. And Came the out N- of nowhere. The NFL announced they're gonna make skims her skims. Uh, yeah uh, part of the NFL. Nipple cover. But, but what I think nipples. about that is I'm gonna be very upset if I if I I. I I hook up with a girl and her nipples don't look like the ones I that know. are on the thing because they're, they're too they're, perfect. They're little small perky ones. Yeah. And it's, like, this, this, and it's not like the other ones aren't like other types of nipples aren't nice. It's just that yeah, it just looks right? different. Like yeah. what's going on? Like it's false a fake. Advertisement. You're faked out. It's like yeah. a faha. False advertisement. Like, yeah. a, like a big bitch got faha. That's on. true. Would you be upset? Mm-hmm. No, because you can always tell. Like if the faha is really doing a lot of work, they can't <laughs> oh breathe really. really like, yeah, or maybe it like rolls <laughs> over a little bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shout out to Fajas, though. Bruh. I yeah. used to sleep with one. Uh, waist like trainer? A, like a... To hold, it, hold their shit together. Sucks you in? Yeah. That's what skims mm-hmm. are. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I think we look, still look good, <coughs> though. Uh, before we take our first break, uh, we're going to do that right now. But I just want to say um, this episode has been brought to you by, once again, absolutely nobody. I'm still coming out of pocket. We're still coming out of pocket. So go ahead and donate, Mr. Beast. Uh... You know, come through, my boy. All right, we'll be right back. Rolling one, rolling two. It was a short break. <clears throat> it was a very short break. Um, that's just how life goes. That's just how life goes. So, we're back. We're back from the break. We're back from the break. We had to take care of some things, but we're back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. First on the line of business. First online business. You you recently, Desanti, you posted. Uh, you want to take a media okay. social media cleanse. Oh yeah. Yeah, you want to take a break. How's no, that going? How's that working? It's media out? in general. So media I'm, in general. I'm not well. It's like my own thing. It's not. I'm not listening to music, and I'm not scrolling through social media. Okay. But it's more of a no music thing. Why is that? Because I feel like I've been feeling kind of dumb lately, to be honest. So I feel like dumb. I'm <laughs> yeah, okay. like my verbiage. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's just funny. I'm <laughs> feeling kind of I'm dumb and hilarious. <laughs> like, okay. Uh huh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just feel like my vocabulary is like level <laughs> kindergarten. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> no, come on. I'm bro. being really vulnerable right bro, now. Come on. You're laughing know, okay, at okay. me. <sighs> Right. Serious, serious. Right. Okay, you ca- your vocab. You it's feel like dumb. <laughs> Kindergarten level. Mm-hmm. So I just realized, like, what do I need to do to get my vocabulary up? Well, yeah, not nec- Yeah. Yeah. But also, I wanted to. I felt like mentally, I was in a place where I was just t- thinking really negatively, mm-hmm. and all the music everywhere has really toxic lyrics. So I was like. Maybe that'll help. Well, not everywhere. You can choose what you. That's true. You listen to, but but so uh, it's, you think you think you think music <laughs> is taking a, a part in that, and not like social media. I would feel like social scrolling through social media would make me feel dumber than listening to music. It does, yeah. And I stopped that too. Yeah. But I still check my DMs, and people send me shit all day. So mm-hmm. I feel like you're not missing anything. 
Yeah, I still feel like I'm not taking a social media break, even though I'm not scrolling anymore. Uh, yeah, you see, you found a loophole. You're cheating. I did. I mm-hmm. am cheating. cheating. But the mu- the no music thing is going great. I'm listening yeah. to a lot of podcasts and a lot of um, books. Probably, yeah, book, oh, books are good, too. I'd say listening to uh, actors talk to each other. Oh. They have some of the wise is like wise information and then their vocabulary is amazing like in podcasts or what do you mean like um when they when an actor gets to talk like around the table you they have those? specials like they'll sit never down seen like two actors Ad- Adam Sandler show. and Brad Pitt sit down oh, oh my uh, gosh and their vocabulary yeah, is yeah. amazing yeah, okay. that's yeah. Yo, that's yeah yeah and they're funny yeah <laughs> hey bro your vocab is fucking hard bro <laughs> seriously dude <laughs> you'll be saying words that I have to look up <laughs> Cause I want to know what it means. That's you know? what I need. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I need some new words. Y'all dumb. Um, I you scroll all day. You think you're smarter? Day. You think you're smarter? Than I don't you? think I'm lacking in vocabulary. Um, I think I use good words. Okay. Um, like what? Say a big word right now. Okay. Um. That you think I won't know. Literature. I know what literature means. What does it mean? It means like the cons, the art of literacy. <laughs> It's like books, like stories. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. What is a, uh, what is a, uh, gaslighting mean? It means when someone Bruh. makes you believe something that isn't real, but they make you believe that it's real. That's good. That's good. That's good. Do you believe in gaslighting? Absolutely. What? Absolutely. No. Yeah. Do I believe it's a real thing? I no. I was trying to gaslight you. Oh. Yeah, you're bad at that. Oh, you're sincere. Oh, you can't be. Have you ever found Aww. yourself being like the toxic one in a relationship, and not not in like a reaction? Like you know, like the person can be toxic, so you turn toxic. Like like oh, like, you know, you were the toxic one. I want to say no, but I feel like it. It was definitely like both on both ends. Like I was definitely toxic because they were also toxic. Right. But that I feel like a toxic person would say that. Right, one hundred percent. That's like, very, it's that's not very, my that's very aware of yourself. That's it's weird. Them. But so, it's it's hard to know. look at. It's hard to it's hard to look objectively. Uh, I know I've been a uh, an outstanding individual in all my relationships. So yeah, it's, it's never been my issue. So you wouldn't know. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't know. I made a song called Narcissist, and it was about. Can you sing it? Yeah, money on my head. I just want to see me dead. I don't okay. care. I I left the text on red. <laughs> Bitch, you heard what I said. Feel like a narcissist. Mm. I only think about myself. I feel like a narcissist. She want me all to herself, and nobody else. But you gotta let a hoe be a hoe. Yeah. That's the last song I heard from you. Damn. That's not true. It was a couple years ago. That's not true because yeah. you listened to Too High the other day. Oh yeah. 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 That was a couple. Yeah. That was two days ago. It doesn't count. Yeah. I mean, like. Well, <laughs> it does count. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's get to let's get to. Wait, I'm not off the media cleanse. I I've tried. Uh, I know maybe you can get some advice on. And matter of fact, Drew, can you step up to the mic, please? I'm sorry to put you on the spot. What are some things you do to help you stay away from? Because uh, you he actually done the media social media cleanse like. Oh, like no he, he's, social media. He's on a hunt. like he has it, but he, he doesn't. He's not active on it right now. I okay. literally just don't give a fuck. Let's talk uh, that shit. I love that's that. Simple. That's it. But, Let's talk that shit. Let's talk that shit. But okay. But you know, if you indulge in it a little bit too much, you get stuck in it. Yeah, it's like a drug. So, I, to me is. personally, like a black I, hole. I it is like a but, rabbit hole. But, mm-hmm. but if you say mm-hmm. you don't give a fuck, then why, when you indulge in it, why do you keep like? There's good in it. Like you get women uh, into women. I thought you were gonna say cars, inspiration. Into cars, you feel me? Like Bruh. anything you want is on the internet, on social media. That's true. You get your yeah. likes, your comments, all that stuff goes into it. That's that so shit right there. Like I get a lot of inspiration from it. You feel me? So that's how you fight it off. You just don't care. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. That's hard. That's hard. But also, I have to post because it's part of my job. 100%. And I which have to is, interact with people. Which is? Digital marketing. I love that. I love yeah. that. I have to be on social media. And also with music, I feel like I can't take a break because I have stuff that I'm going to be releasing soon. But the listening to music doesn't. Doesn't I actually find it when I when I don't listen to I don't over listen to a lot of music I create better because I'm not pulling from so many different. That's things. That's what I'm I was thinking like, it was gonna do mm-hmm. too. You know when you like when you're songwriting and then you come up with a melody line and then like ten minutes later someone's like oh that sounds like this other song. That's a that's called hate. I hate that. That's called hate. <laughs> that, that motherfucker's hating. That's called hate. <laughs> like that song I made. Uh, I know that you moved on. It's been so long. I can't. Mm-hmm. My brother was like, "Oh, that sounds like the Harry Styles song." I said, "Die, <laughs> die." 
die. I fucking hate that. And he died. <laughs> Rest in peace, Jeff. <coughs> yeah. How is he? Still, he's still in Austin. He's dead. What the fuck? <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? Did nah, he die uh, in Austin? No, nah, no, nah, he's uh he's out there. He's he's living his best. He's he started uh, DJing a lot. He's starting getting a lot of house like DJ uh, gigs, like paid gigs and stuff. And nice. he throws his own Fine. events. He, actually, yesterday he threw an event. Um, Ooh, nice. I went to the last one, and they do like sound healing and yoga. Oh, that's cool. And uh, my first time doing sound healing. Did and you like it? I I, I bullshit you should not. I've told the story again. Sorry if you're listening. Uh, I tripped out. I had like a psychedelic trip. I was oh, sober. They say that happens. Yeah. I was sober. I was sober. And me, I'm a. I call out bullshit on that shit all the time. But yeah, I literally I closed my eyes and I felt like the sound was hovering over me. Then Isn't I saw. Isn't it crazy? Dude, I saw Egypt. I saw what? the beginning of the world. I saw the globe. I promise you, it was crazy. Then I ended up like in some small town. I promise you, all that in like 15 minutes. Oh my god, that sounds really cool. It was cool, bro. It was cool. It was like I promise you, it was, it was weird. It was weird. Yeah. I, I tripped out for a second because I was like, that really happened without. Any How drugs. did you feel when he came back? Well, what 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 made me come back? I heard the back door open. Yeah, and I knew we were all like laying down with our eyes closed. I'm like, I'm not finna be a, a victim of a mass shooting. I'm, I'm gonna make <laughs> gotcha. sure. I'm gonna make sure somebody's up and awake during this shit. So I snapped out of it. Uh, it was just some liberal coming through the door. <laughs> wanted to Ruined join, it. Wanted to fucking join. But I felt, bro. I felt like I needed to tell somebody what I just experienced. That's what I felt. I was like, yeah. dude, I I felt like I was on drugs, but I wasn't. Yeah. Mm. Um. You ever done sound healing? Yeah, I love it. Like the bowls? The, mm. the bowls, the gongs. I like the gong sound. When it's just one note. And uh, yoga. Yeah. You do yoga. I love yoga. Do you do often? Not currently, but I would like to and I should. You do yoga. But it's crazy how the sound goes into your cells and, and you f- into yeah. your brain. What do you mean cells? It goes into your cells? Like supposedly sound healing heals your cells. It like shakes your cells up and then calms them down. Cool. And heals. Is that what happens when we get high? No. Mm. I don't think so. A similar a similar thing gets triggered mm. when when you do sound healing and when you're on psychedelics. Really? It, Might be it, like a dopamine hit. Cause, but it's not dopamine. It's because I know what dopamine feels like. Like I tripped. Mm-hmm. Like I was tripping. Like I was yeah. I was like seeing shit. Out of body experience. I literally out of body experience. Yeah, I haven't listened to music in a week. Damn. Well, I have been public where I can't control it, mm-hmm. but. When I'm on my own, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts and no music at all, not even instrumentals. I listened to instrumentals one day, but it made me kind of emotional. I listened to classical music, mm-hmm. and it made me kind of sad. So <laughs> it was like I don't. It's kind of touching. <laughs> I like don't like being controlled by the emotions that music can bring out of me. And what? I've been listening to a lot of Latin Why? music, and it's a lot of sad lyrics. Even though it's like hype, it's still like. My lover left me, or right. I'm gonna beat someone's ass, and I, I just feel like I just need to be with my. Own. What do you listen to music for? Because I I listen to music because I like the emotions that it brings out of me. Like that's what that's the that's point of music is. for yeah, me. Right. Yeah, and right. I I used to. I just got to a point where I think I'm too dependent on it. Where I'll get in my car and be like, I need to listen to this now. Like a drug. Because I feel a certain way, so hmm. it's gonna make me feel better. <laughs> um, but I see. I, it's funny because I I look at music the same way. Like, oh, I I need it for this mood I'm in. But yeah. I look at that like a positive. I don't know. Like I've never looked at that like a negative. I'm I like, just feel like nothing was working, and I just kept getting progressively worse mentally. Mm. So I was like, what can I do? So I I didn't see it as a negative, but I was like, let me experiment and see. Like, let me like learn some shit instead of and it's dwelling help. in it's my help. emotions. Um, I'm still kind of. Not in the best place mentally. But better or no? I'm or, learning a well, it's ton. Been a week. It's been a week. It's been a week, yeah, but I'm learning a ton of stuff. So you, you're saying podcasts is, is if anybody out there is trying to go the same route, podcast, listen yeah, to podcasts. Learning to, uh, listening to your podcast. That right? or just I, drive. Learning so much. Let's go. Yeah, hey, hey, listen to the control room podcast. <laughs> just kidding. Hey. Hey. Oh, you, okay, wow. I, the, wow. <laughs> Don't listen. If you're not going to no, listen to an episode, it's this one. The I Dream in Stereo p- show is my favorite. <laughs> oh, my God. Episode. I was so high on that one. Um... How much is on there? Uh, what I'm about to say the uh, but also podcast is tricky too, because without even knowing, it's just because it's not music, it's a lot of opinions. That's true. And people's point of view being spoken all day, as well, opposed to music. I'm sorry, as opposed to music, sometimes you can kind of just drown out the lyrical content and just kind of vibe with that running. But a true. podcast, you're paying attention to what they're well, talking about. Well, but the ones I'm listening to are productive, like Impact Theory, or I've been. Listening to a lot of music, business information, or just educational podcasts, really. 
not like entertainment podcasts. Is that kind of like, is that where you want to base your podcast? Like, like educational? Educational? Uh, I don't know. I'm in a weird in between right now where I don't know if I want it to be educational or entertainment. <coughs> I haven't I mean, figured it can out. Can it be both? I mean, it has to be both. I would right? hope it's both, but I feel like <coughs> lately I've been really, but the, I don't know. I haven't, I need to come up with better topics, I feel like, because my podcasts have been very, like, not conversational. And I'll let the guests know before, like, hey, this is not an interview. We're doing a conversation. This mm-hmm. is a, we're supposed to be like. A lot of give and take. Yeah. Like, we're supposed to be in a conversation. And then I'll, like, ask a question, and then they'll talk for, like, 10, 20 minutes in, like, a monologue. Oh, okay, And then okay, I'm like, here. okay, well, this, yeah. You're giving uh, them the spotlight? Like, but I think I, I may ask my questions too seriously, and then they answer them, but then they keep talking. Well, you just got to cut people off like this, the way I just cut you off right now. Yeah. You just got to learn how to cut people off <laughs> when they're talking on your show, because you, you just got to know when you're you're right, like, yeah. And I notice in your episodes. I cut people off a lot. <laughs> instead of asking them like a s- the serious question you're you just ask them like how you get into that i don't get mm-hmm, it mm-hmm. Yeah, instead yeah. of saying I, like, oh like with cam with how she learned how to sew clothes yeah it's you're like how Asian do you do sweatshops. that <laughs> it's just probably I literally instead of i would have been like mm. how did you start yeah and yeah then to, right, right, right. cue monologue i guess it's kind of just like you want to do that in person all right what would you like in a conversation like you're just sitting having drinks actually i do get a lot of monologues in person <laughs> I'm I'm not really a talker too. Maybe that's why I'm more of a listener. Schultz does the same thing though, bro. What? He when he has the guests, he'll tell them kind of how they got started, and they'll speak about their story. And then there's just points where you know he'll in, insert himself. You know what I mean? <coughs> and, and and what Schultz does, uh, you know Andrew Schultz? Mm-hmm. I've heard the name. What, what he does on his, he's a comedian, but what he does on his podcast so well is, and I think it's important is um, like his he'll ask a question, whatever it is, whatever topic, and like. He'll he'll bring up a relatable situation. I don't know to kind of ask. He just won't okay. ask, he won't ask it straight up. He'll bring up like a relatable situation that people will be like, ah, okay, like like yeah, oh, yeah. and they keep the conversation going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then he'll just crack a joke somewhere. Right. Like, I think it's it's really about like I don't know maybe 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 like um I think what helps me sometimes is having people here having friends yeah. here like okay. juice, is, juice is great to bounce off of that's like, actually true because it's always just me and the guests and it's very like sometimes you need to I feel ed- like there's a spotlight on like yeah asking them mm-hmm. questions because it's just y'all two in there yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah and also i feel like with your podcast you are the personality of the show mm-hmm. and i feel like with mine it's about the guests it's oh. very guest based right okay and that, you know? okay and that's when it's tough and yeah, you're not in control of the entertainment exactly there. I, the, I need yeah. to switch it you where, need, exactly like, exactly like it's your show it's your episode and it's featuring this guest yeah that's yeah. why i put featuring mm-hmm. and to his, to your point i had to ask him like let's do a podcast together because i honestly felt like he was ask is an understatement he was like can I, i'll suck your dick before <laughs> every episode if we can do a podcast i was like yes Did he? He, yeah, he ha- today, today he hasn't, but it's something you can't. I just early. got back, yeah. so yeah, fresh mouth, everything ready. Oh, I'm sorry, continue. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was just, um, yeah, just to the to the point. You had to ask me to yeah, do the podcast to do the podcast, and it was something um, that I just knew that he had. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's carried it really well. I mean, you know, he's super into it too, so it's just really dope to see. I honestly hate this yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. No. He. Yeah. <laughs> He's acting. <coughs> no, no, it, I'm totally lying. I, <laughs> and I'm, I'm producing the show too while I'm recording. I have like the laptop and like I'm watching the sound waves that's and like so I'm like I'm doing fun. everything and it, I feel like I'm thinking of the next question while they're talking and it just feels very, very, very like alone. You're kind of by yourself doing everything. Yes. it's kind of hard. Yeah. You can't do everything yourself. I can't like relax. No, yeah. And, yeah. On, and on top talk. of all that, you just set everything up. So yeah, you're t- yeah you <laughs> like thirty just, minutes yeah, yeah, set yeah. up. Yeah, 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 yeah. it could be tough. Um, yeah. yeah, find you, find you, find you a friend, find you somebody that's just like, find you, friend. Find, you <laughs> find you a Duck Ellington, find you a Juice, somebody, find you, you know, just a friend that, be, that help you kind of just like bounce off of them, like, yeah, somebody you're going to roast, like if I'm in a fucking bad mood and I need to get out of it, I'm on his ass, <laughs> I'm on his ass, boy. It's it, But it's kind of like music too, you know, like not on podcast, but if you're an artist and you, you can't do everything yourself, yeah. songwriting, beats yeah. making, you know, recording yourself. Publishing yourself, getting covers to yourself, figuring out, like you cannot uh, do unless yeah. you Lil B. So much. Unless you Lil B. Yeah, Lil B got a crazy song. He does everything. Out, bro. Oh, Russ and more. <laughs> That's crazy. It's not funny. It's <sighs> no, crazy. It's, not. it's insane. It's sad. 
I, I've been itching. I've been fine because I've been I've been wanting to talk about it because I have opinions about everything. But I I, I, don't, yeah. think, I, don't, I don't think we should. I, I, yeah. I think we shouldn't. So I, you know, if the more you say that, that was, <sighs> it's like saying the N word. It's not well, a who's pick. Your pick? <laughs> Who you got winning? I mean, um, you're right. You're right. Let me let me actually say this because I haven't said <laughs> nothing, and not I'm nobody, but I'm a human being. I do have feelings about this. I, I wish people would stop dying, and I wish people would stop killing people. And I wish people would stop arguing about yeah, what like if they don't know anything. I don't even like I, y'all don't know anything. I don't, oh, I don't even care about that. I don't even care about the people posting shit about that. I just wish people would stop dying. People would stop killing. Yeah, that's it. Okay, there's so much other shit we can be doing like this. We can sit down like friends. So that's about that's my opinion on it. I wish people stop dying. People stop killing, and and do something else with your fucking time. All right, bad people. Uh. Fuck. Yeah. Where do we go no, from here? Is lazy or safe? <laughs> I think it's neither. I think it's respectful. I don't want. I don't even want. There's there's people dying on both sides. I don't even even if somebody on the one side is right in your eyes. I don't. I don't even want to speak on who's right because there's people. Whether, whatever side is right or wrong, there's innocent people on both sides. I have nothing to do with that. Just like us. Like I'm. I'm not the fucking U.S. government. Like the shit we do. Like our country does. Like. I didn't bomb Japanese people. Yeah, I've heard some bullshit about that. I United wish States. I did, but I didn't bomb Japanese people. I just live here. That's a joke. <laughs> I don't wish I did, but <laughs> I didn't. I'm just American. You know what I'm talking about? So there's people there's people that live in Israel, people that live in Palestine. Yeah. That don't deserve they just, anything. They just yeah. live there. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's tough. It's it, really they don't, tough. They, they, so and that's the, and they're the ones dying. That's why I don't want to speak on it because we're uh definitely don't want to invite any type of energy like that right like, now. Sh- People are treating humans like Pokemon. Yeah. Literally. Like, hey, go battle. Suck my I dick. I just hate... Uh, no, I, I can't even say anything because it's too yeah, be, uh, well, let's, yeah. Let's move on. Look, you know who Joe Budden is? Yeah. Hey, I like that. Okay, fine. Points. Points for... You got a ding, ding, ding. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. I need to get a point right here. Thanks. Aww. Um, Joe Budden, uh, GOAT podcast, uh, got jumped last night. What? Mm-hmm. Are you like acting right club. now? Yeah, it just came out. I is don't know, it real? Yeah, yeah, it came out this morning. I saw you saw it too. Was it because of the Drake thing? No, so it's past that. It was the you know DJ Envy. Was it real? No, it sounds familiar. So there's no He's video. From the Breakfast Club. Okay, so okay, so okay. Short, look, long story short, these people got caught in this real estate scam in New York. They and they stole a lot of, a lot of people's money that listen to them on the radio. <laughs> That's so crazy. Joe Budden speaks about it on his podcast, and Joe Budden's Joe Budden. He talks the way he talks. He's like, oh y'all dumb as fuck, bro. That's how <laughs> the way he talks. Somebody ran up on him with a camera while he was eating with his friend, whatever, smoking a cigarette outside. And they were just filming him. He's like, "Get yeah, my face!" He's filming him. So he goes inside. That shit gets posted. We all tune into the next Joe Budden podcast episode to see what he says about it. He's talking about Caesar, you and your whole fat ass family. Y'all can suck my dick, blah blah blah. Like all, all this shit. I'm like, yeah, shit, funny. He's like, y'all gonna have a real problem, like blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, cool. And then I guess that's why they jumped him. I don't know. Oh the, my the video god. hasn't come out, but I'm tuning in the next episode. Oh my god! And that's genius marketing. I'm tuning in. Uh, yeah. He got yeah. beat. He got you think beat. it's staged? I want. <sighs> no. I wouldn't doubt it if it is. I don't think but... it's staged, but I think Joe Budden doesn't mind leaning into uh, okay. saying what he says and how he says it because he knows, regardless, it's a it's a win situation. Attention. Unless he gets hurt real life, but yeah, no. I'm sure they did security. take a lot of people, yeah. That's the thing. Everybody says everyone was, and he says he's he he goes out solo. Like I mean, he goes out with his got friends. Lacking, girl. bro. But he's not that he don't, he's not he don't live that life. That's the thing. Like he's a podcaster. Well, yeah, you better start. He's not street. That's that. I do find uh, that I find that crazy. Like if you're in the hip hop community, and you're making all these call outs. If, if, no, if you're in the hip hop community, and mostly if you're black and you're in the hip hop community, you like you have like yeah like you have to like like have security or you have to like like you have to. Um, it's like mm-hmm. people expect you to be like. You have to fight, or you have to like. That's your like. You know, if you ran up on like somebody ran up on fucking like Elton John, right? And and did with like try to jump him or something. Nobody's looking at Elton John like, oh, you, you're weak or you deserved it. You know what I'm talking about? They're like, oh, y'all attacked him. But if somebody yeah. jumps Joe Budden, they're like, oh, he should have fought back or like. I feel like you have, you have a, uh, if you have security, that means you've got people out there like knowing something that you did wrong. Or that you you know you're saying things that you know people so nah. like if you don't have security you just you good like you're not saying nothing bad. You know pizza, that you're pizza. Straight. He said pizza, pizza because Caesar the guy's name is Caesar the scam artist and he's fat and he called uh. pizza, pizza.
Corridor. Have you ever been tased? Respiratory sensors? I've never been tased. I've never been tased. I'm not a, not a rapist. You just <laughs> could have voluntarily <laughs> done, done it. Yeah, that's right. That's true. No, I've never been tased. You've been tased? I kind of want to just to see, but... I've nah. been tased. You've been tased? Oh, yeah. I it? did it to myself. Oh. Oh. I did it to myself. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, we How was it? Move, homes. <laughs> <laughs> we were crazy. We just got, we were just young and we did just all fall? did it. Did you fall? Were you sitting? We just young and, and poor. And <laughs> <we> just, <laughs> like, yeah, For what fun. Does, what does this do? <laughs> For who had the tased? Uh, one of my friend's dad's. Damn. Yeah, we were all in the room, and you know, he pulled it out. And we're like, "Fuck it, right?" Oh, oh, he, oh, he, he let y'all. He did it to y'all. I did it to myself. He was there. His dad, or just his? Wait, how dad? old were no, you? No, I mean, like 15, 16. Oh, at yeah. my friend's house. Yeah, I, but at Mexican, that's like yeah, 30. We, <laughs> 30. 15, 16. Mexican. Yeah, in Mexican <laughs> years, you're 34. Yeah, so, so I. Oh, you good? I was good to make that decision. Did you? Did you yeah, yeah, definitely. Your like, whole body? Oh, did you fall? Yeah, just, no, 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 I didn't fall. What? Yeah, I was just real quick, and I let go. Yeah, I wasn't like I was gonna do it to myself like for thirty uh, seconds. Wait. I feel like that would have hurt. Yeah, what, but what about the gun taser? That's different. Nah, things? yeah, I didn't oh, do that like one. Those are like you. needles, bro, that go inside of you. <sighs> the way you see people spaz when they get shot with them. Like, <sighs> yeah, dude, that one's so hard. They <laughs> need one of those. And they shit themselves or piss themselves every time. Oh my god! You ever shit yourself? Um, no. Ever? Even as a kid? Uh, no. Bruh. I don't think so. Sure. Yeah, I think I would remember that. You've never shit yourself as a kid. I don't remember. It's out of my memory. When Have I was you? in first grade, yes. <laughs> when I was in first grade, you don't ever. Forget. When I was in first grade, I took. I I I really want to. Oh, I'm play teacher. What's so funny? There's a mic right there too. What's so funny? It must be really funny. Please share. <laughs> share Please share with the class. class. Please share with the class. No, 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 no. Don't, no, don't be quiet now. <laughs> no, what's funny? Damn, I was hoping you were gonna do like a school bell, like really class dismissed, <laughs> saved by the bell. Fuck, oh, juice, you slip. Uh, sorry, brother. I <laughs> missed that one. I'll get that one next time. So in first grade, I shit myself, and it was right before we went to lunch. And like, remember, like in lunch, the teacher, the teacher would like, tell the class to stand up, everybody line up by the door before we leave. Yeah. So er, I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there, and they just, I farted and just, I shit myself, <laughs> and I felt it going down my my my, my leg. And then the teacher's like, everybody stand up, we're going to lunch, and I'm like. Watching everybody, watching everybody walk, you know, they're in line, and she's like, "Come on, get up!" I'm like, and she's like, "Get up!" I'm like, <laughs> and and the, and and, the, and then like she she just kind of okay, everybody guys come and like she told the assistant teacher to walk them. She stayed like, I was like, <laughs> she's like, oh, she's like, oh shit, she's like, all right, go to the bathroom. I ran to the bathroom, bro, and I waited there until my mom came with a change of uh, pants, and then she took me home. Aww, mm-hmm. that's good that no one found out, did they? I mean, dude, they, they, had, <laughs> they came. They went back to that classroom. Had to be. They probably spent the rest of the day outside, bro. What's your, what's your mom say? Oh, it was her fault, dude. I told her I was feeling sick in the morning. I, I, psh, at one, I was eating what? Lunch, bo- lunch makers, boy. I had that uh, kids' cuisine. That milk. That carton. TV dinner. Really. <laughs> yeah, a little slice of pizza with chocolate milk. The regular shit. We used to eat that shit in lunch. That's what the fuck it was. Yeah. Bro, we used to eat pizza, fries, <laughs> pudding, and chocolate milk. Yeah, the whole thing has chocolate and, milk. And then, hey, and then go outside for recess and run around. <laughs> Sweat. Yeah, just shake that shit up real quick. <laughs> then everybody come inside, everybody got to take a shit. <laughs> Facts. That's that's how exactly how it went. That's how it went. Yeah. Kids, kids throwing up. <laughs> school was disgusting, bro. I mean, just cool. The I mean, water fountains was, outside. Uh, disgusting. Mold. Mold, mold and shit. You got a... You got a Rusty yeah. water fountain. You got a, you got a raccoon on your <laughs> gnawing off or something. Just... Bro, in, in the hallways is nasty. Just kids smell like smelling, like sweating, like damn, bro. And kids are reflections of the. Like, hey, those are the same Crocs I have. Juice, you got them. The ones with the orange thing. Oh no, they're not. It's red. Damn, I ruined the show for that. <laughs> That's crazy. Man. I hope it was good. That's nuts. Was it worth no, it? No, yeah. Uh, no, it no, no. Is it worth it? Can't send the shampoo. Um, no, but yeah, elementary school was disgusting, but, but I shit myself, and then yeah, I went home. I went home. It was crazy. But and then think about like gym class, dog. Like think about gym, you think that's the, that's a normal thing shitting yourself in school. Really? 
<laughs> in elementary? I think middle school with gym class is worse. They give you those smelly shorts that they've worn for years. And, and you, you like, just have wash to wear them, yeah. Like, with th- sweat stains and your, the same t-shirt. Like, they can't afford and ta- another no, 20 no, golden and, t-shirts. Like, no, what do you mean throw it in the bin? <laughs> what the f- Which, th- this, the one everybody else is throwing <laughs> the dirty clothes at? By the time it goes in the washing machine, it's just moving around a bunch of water that has everybody it's else's disgusting. dirt in that shit. Yeah. Oh my god. That is so disgusting. I never thought about that. That the kids are nasty, bro. If I have a kid, bro, he gotta be like eighteen by the time are you come out. Are putting him in private he, school? If he's not born an adult, I'm not fucking with him. Like he gotta be at least like seven, seven, like sixteen, <clears throat> fifteen, have some type of Benjamin hy- Franklin. hygiene training yeah, instilled yeah. in you. Like I can't have no baby, bro. A toddler, yeah, being dirty. Okay, it's disgusting. I got yeah. patience, bro. Salute to y'all, bro. Salute to y'all. I'm, I, I, I'm talking about like it, my own kid. Mm-mm. He has to come out talking. Grown adult. Y'all remember those kids? Well, you're you're a, you're a woman, but in elementary school, the kids that didn't know how to unzip their <laughs> zipper, so they would pull their whole pants down to pee. Uh-oh. Y'all remember those kids? Just naked booty. <laughs> People <laughs> still do that to this day. People still do that. I've heard stories of people pulling down their pants all the way, like just straight the Winnie the Pooh in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> just shirt on, As no an pants. Adult, just Winnie the Pooh in that bitch. That's crazy, though. Do hey. you take your shirt off to go number two to the bathroom? Yo, I just I just started doing that a year ago. You did? Yes, I just started doing that a year ago. You know why? So the smell just doesn't get on my shirt. I don't I, know. That's what I was thinking I just too. Like, then in the particles, I don't know. I'm shitting. Yeah, I'm shitting. The, the I particles. use a squatty potty. It helps. Does it What's really? That? It helps a lot. Squatty, squatty potty. Like put your feet up. Yeah, so it elevates your colon yeah, yeah, to yeah, kind of yeah. stay straight instead of doing like the sideways thing. That's where yeah. So it just goes straight down and like you get everything. <laughs> Juice in the bathroom with his legs up <laughs> over his shoulder. <laughs> I mean, it's the best way, man. It, it, it helps Yo, in the long run. You like, you like, like, I'm getting older, <laughs> man. I just want to take care of my body. body you know? I've been considering getting one, actually. Wait, so it's like a stool. Like a stool. Yeah. Yeah. You like put your feet in. Yeah. And, and you it's have amazing. a bidet, too. I wish I did. That'd be amazing. There's like, they're like 20 bucks on Amazon. Oh. I don't know how good they yeah. would be. I, maybe if I find one on the reviews. I just never thought about getting one. You just like plug the, it into your to- water. The toilet squirter. I got sprayed while I went with my eye. Did yeah. you get pink eye? No, actually, and I cut it out the episode. But Mia was there. I was shooting BTS a video. She was in, and the house had a, a bidet. Had a bidet. And you decided and I to went put to your try face it. in it. And I know, no, no, no. Oh, we we tried it from afar, and it came up and bow. But it came up high and curved. Because it's supposed to go like, like enough <laughs> pressure to like you know. <laughs> but why it curved? Like the dude, where's the dude's ass? Whoever's toilet sitting is. on it, stopping. It. That's why there's so much pressure. Like, oh, it's like it has a job. Up. You feel that shit yeah. in your stomach? That shit gay. You gonna feel it in your <laughs> gut, girl? Mm. Yeah, that shit gay. That shit gay. Oh, yeah. Um, for days though. What do you think of um, this E song? Says my. <laughs> My blank pink, my booty hole brown. I, I don't know. I don't you know haven't that. heard that line? What line? My blank pink? I'm not going to say it. I, I just... You don't cuss? No. You don't cuss? I don't cuss. Is that like a religious thing or... No. Classist thing? No. I don't want a video of me saying that word out there. Oh. What if we bleep it out? I'll say it. Uh, Hoochie think- is... Pink and my booty hole is brown. I uh, I think that song's phenomenal. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> I I think I think I like her. She's uh she's pregnant right now. I think. I don't know. She's pregnant. She's still performing. I think that's fire. I like her too. I think I was really inspired. Really. I went out one night, and I went to like five different bars and clubs and everywhere. And that song was and playing play everywhere. Everywhere. The street. Crazy. The, oh, so, so that, okay, that's funny. Is that you think that's your internet Barbie side, like that likes that type of shit? Because I feel like just if I didn't know you prior to this, I knew you'd like that song. But if I didn't know you prior, the conversation we just had, the things you like and don't like, I wouldn't assume you like that. Okay. Um. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. It's like a therapy session. No, I like <laughs> I like sexy red. I think she got uh, a nice personality, and she's sexy. She's sexy. She knows how. She knows what she's doing. Gucci pink, booty hole brown. Yeah. Um, Makes I, sense. I, she just performed. She took it. She was at, a, uh, I don't know if it was elementary or high school, but she, she I think it was a high school. She performed there. 
That's what I want to do. And everyone's mad at her. Would you do that? Why were they mad? Because they said she shouldn't be around. Uh, her song's talking about Coochie Pink and Booty Hole Brown. You think those kids aren't singing that anyway? I think it's facts. They got the Discovery Channel, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's like, it's like a, Shout everyone out should know that. Shout out Eminem. Yeah. They know colors. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just kidding. They, that's horrible. Yeah, let's stop talking about children's uh, no. opinions no, on, on no. coochies and booty holes. Stop. <laughs> stop talking about that, guys. Stop. Uh, don't you ever just fucking, when you're driving sometimes, you just driving. And not that you want to run off the road, but you just want to kind of just like fuck with somebody. You just fucking hit the back of the car a little bit. And just wait <laughs> and see what the fuck they do. Flash your lights and see, watch them confused. You it's ever just want to do you. that shit? It's just you. Fuck. How do you suppress your anger? Do you get angry? As long as I've known you, you seem like a disciplined person. I don't get angry. I get really sad. I'm sorry. I I do when people interrupt me while I'm talking. (laughs) You interrupt everyone. Level standards. You You look at a guy and you look at the way he eats a banana. Is there a certain way that you feel like a man should eat a banana? Or he shouldn't? I think it's hilarious. I, like, live off of a guy eating a banana. Like, that scenario. Mm hmm in my head like, like I, I can think about that and, and smile and smile oh shit okay yeah okay so how, when you when you when you picture that in your head it makes you smile how is he eating it the way that he's supposed to eat it okay what's that like so he peels it and he just straight? peels it uh, and okay. just like, like bite solid banana in the mouth like no tear off just no tear off no bite off just whole banana straight <laughs> as much as they can like fit. Ed, Ed, and Eddie? <laughs> no, as much as is comfortable to them. And that's it's funny a, to you? A bite. It's not funny. I said I smile. I think it's great. It's not funny. I think it's great. Yeah. I think they should be able to eat a banana. The way they want to eat a banana. The way they want, but it's better if they hold the whole banana and then bite out no. of it with their mouth. With their mouth. But peeled. Yeah. You think peeled is the right way? Yeah, I don't think anyone would, would want to eat it not peeled. They so choke. They don't like guys don't like choking. They're not good at it. So why wouldn't they peel it? Like are girls good at it? choking? Some of them. Some of them are good at, at choking. And you don't think any guys are good at choking? I think they could be. Yeah. If they wanted to. There's some guys out there probably good at choking. I I just think if they were to eat a banana, they wouldn't voluntarily be like let me also choke on this. Let me you so they prefer peeled. Like you think people th- prefer circumcised penises than like it's like peeled. Banana. Why are you relating a banana to a penis? That's not Bruh. what we were it's, talking about. It's what do you mean? We Why were am talking I talking about bananas and you just brought penis in the We're talking about what men and, <laughs> we're, ta- we're talking about the way men and women eat bananas what they prefer, right? Yeah, so and why so are you, you say, bringing up an uncircumcised penis? I'm uncomfortable. Double, double now. standards? Oh my god, she's uncomfortable. That's a fucking <laughs> yeah, what what I was gonna say because we're talking about the peeling, so bananas, a uh, peeled banana is like a, is circumcised. N- now I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> That's right. now I'm fucking uncomfortable. Now we have to talk about it. Now we gotta talk about it. Now I'm uncomfortable. Right. Where's, where's the light? Now we talking about it. I've, from the time I've known you, you've always been very uh, disciplined. Like you always consistent on working out, uh, and and with your content podcast, the uh, the the digital marketing. And it seems to me, right? I could be wrong. I <coughs> usually am, right? It seems to me like you wake up in a good mood and ready to. And if you're not, you can just still just still get up and just get going. Yeah. And I wonder. Cause I, do you I, not? I can't. I feel like you do. That's that's. I was telling them the other day. I'm the best actor you've ever made. You like 100. <laughs> percent No doubt in my mind. You do a lot of shit. Yeah, I know. And and um, I I I hate every second of it. I do too now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I was gonna ask how you. Do, I was gonna ask like, do you think that's a like a, gen, a genetic thing? No. Or no. No, I I did have I think from the well recently. Remember, I said I was doing a media cleanse because I've been in the really shitty mental state where mm-hmm. I just hate everything right. and I hate what I'm doing and everything just so feels you blamed like everybody else. For so that. I'm like, what's going on? Something needs to change. So that's why I'm doing this media cleanse. So hopefully I can feel better. Mm. But I feel like the Desanti you're talking about two years ago, she was happy every day. And I don't know what happened along the way. I think it's a progression of 
I don't know. I just feel like when you do something long enough and then it's not, you're not getting the results you want, then you, you start. I got sucked into the reality mm. of not progressing. And then Oof. I'm like, oh, maybe Oof. I need to pivot. Oof. Oof. So that's, that's, it is tough. No, that's, that's a. Uh, I was thinking of a following question to go off that, but I relate so hard to that. Like, that's a real life thing. Like, when it's just like, something you've been working on so long and you don't see the progress you want yeah like you've been in music for like what 10 over 10 years How, like 30 years yeah yeah Feel, feels like 30 <laughs> years yeah I, I, and and yeah and although you do what you do and some people may i don't know whatever like you you get you you there's progress but it's just not you you don't see the progress you want it's like there come there does come a point where it's just like fuck it's like, what am I doing? When you look back two years and it's like, what did I do in the past two years? Yeah, yeah. And that's also a big reason why I stopped performing right okay. now. Because I ref like, I refuse to, like, it'll be an event. Shout out to all the events in Houston. Beautiful, giving people shows. But it's an event this year. And then it's the next year. It's like, oh, do you want this year's event is part two. And I'm like, why would I perform in the same place I did last year? Yeah. I'm, j I'm in the same place I was at last year. I get that. that means I'm stuck. I get that. And I caught myself looking uh, recently when I was performing. I was like, I've done this venue so many times. This venue is amazing. This venue is amazing. What am I doing? Damn. Like, stop performing at these venues. Fuck these venues. Yeah. Not fuck not fuck them, the people. Beautiful for even throwing this shit for artists and stuff. But it's, like, it's not doing me. I'm, just, I'm stuck. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. Gotta, That's I, good that you see it, that because yeah. a lot of people aren't they don't, that they, self aware. They think they think it's I'm like, a oh, I'm work, seniored in. I'm a grind. Yeah, I'm, I'm a grind back. more, and something else is gonna pop up. Like, I don't think I think you actually physically have to move. Not like, you know, like you can grind something out. You can grind yeah. those stages out. That same stage, millions of shows, 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 shows that people love it. But if that's the only place you're performing at, yeah. I say if it's working and it's growing your numbers, then keep doing it. But if it's not, you always got to change what you're doing because you always got to find something that's working. But growing you your know? numbers by the what? Because if you're growing your numbers by the three or four followers mm -hmm. each time you perform there, and mm -hmm. you like, I don't know, as opposed to three, four followers, and then you perform somewhere else and somewhere else, somewhere else and like, it, it's like you're gaining 10, 100 people a show. I don't know. Like, what metric do you go off of to determine if you're growing, though? Is it followers or Ooh, is it a good one. people? Like, what if more people are coming out to your shows? Because I remember you used to bring a lot of people out to shows. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I There's never been a... Yeah. And the last show I think I had, one of the last... Like, my show, my show was... The tw last year, was it? Maybe the year before when there was the CA show at Media Block. They threw a whole night for me. I had a headline show. It brought, like, 80 people. And I was just like... It sounds like a good number. Ah, I was just like, I'd be too hard on yourself. But I was like, eighty people is pretty cool. Yeah. I, I was like, I was like, I did like seventy or something like my first album release. Okay. Yeah, that's what I felt like. Okay, it's I, good to be realistic. Yeah, I, f I also felt like when I did that shit with Stevo, the Spanglish shit. Yeah, some of it was them too, but a lot we had over a hundred people. Like we sold out. It was packed. Yeah. I was like, you're moving. You were. Moving. I had, I had more than half those people. Stevo brought people, but. More than half those people there for me. Like I recognize it was people that I haven't talked to since high school, and they, they came out just going to support. So yeah. I remember that, and that's what three, three years ago. So mm -hmm. I'm like, there's no reason that three years later it should be the same number. Like no, like yeah. it should. I should. So that's why I look at, and I don't know. I just, I just, I. It does make you sad and frustrated because you. I'm like, I'm not gonna quit. I'm yeah. Not a bitch. And yeah. and you tell yourself it's like I'm realistic. I'm logical. I know I got something i know i got i know i'm talented there's just something else missing yeah. something i'm not doing something in my control like because i feel like i'm realistic at least i feel like we all tell ourselves that like i got good taste so like i'm not finna quit but like fuck what am i doing yeah, yeah. what else is there to do yeah and is i think the question. You're, you're doing good on social media you're posting a lot and you're <laughs> you have a, your podcast now and it's mm -hmm. not yeah yeah i mean I, I i did realize what i really really like doing is creating like I like creating shit like it, it it bricks me up like I'm in a good mood mostly in life if I'm working on a project. Yeah. So like having multiple shit to work on the show, editing it, going like doing shit, and then I'm also working on music. That shit just it keeps me just like uh, just like moving. You know what I'm talking about? Right. I took that over. That was your talking point. I took that over. I just related really hard. It hit no, me. It yeah. hit me. That was good. That was good. But I guess yeah. I you I I, I you trying to climb up. 
not climb out that hole, but it's like you can only stay delusional for so long. Right now, it's a trend for everyone to say delusional is how you grow or how you it's, it's go places. I, I've but been I heard that. Yeah. I feel like I've been delusional believe in that. for years. Yeah. I, it didn't I don't work believe for in me. That at all. Yeah, it, it, it just didn't work for yeah. me. It and it doesn't it's work. It's never gonna work because the fact that so many people say that. Mm-hmm. And none of them have made it. it yep. Yeah. That's why. Exactly. That's why. So go ahead. I'll keep being delusional, but <laughs> I'm gonna be realistic and sit down and analyze myself. Do I really have something? Okay. What? What is that? Everybody has something. What is that something? How can I lean into that something and, and turn it into something? And turn it into something. Yep. That's yep. it. That's it. That's just it. gotta find what works, man. And just and just find the the love in just creating. Try. I try like not worry about making it whatever the fuck that is. And just creating, I was just the love of, of creating, doing shit I like to do, like as cliche Absolutely. as that sounds. Like, no, it's not. And when it's you just focus yeah. on that, that's more appealing to people. I swear to God, yeah. no, nothing turns me off, and nothing turns people off more than somebody desperately trying to make it and vocalizing it so much. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, if you want to be brutal about it, yeah. <laughs> and just create out of love. People see that shit, you know. Definitely, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. I see it with your with podcasting. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And. I mean, being in the the works of like doing this, what I love, you know, for this six years, it, I, something I relate to is just turning something that I love and, and making it, but also loving it at the same yeah, time. Having fun with it, yeah, it's having fun, fun. It's yeah. Fun. It's, it's a, it opens up a yeah. different creativity box. Yeah. Type mm-hmm. shit, and I think that speaks for everybody in here. Drew at, started with photography with the camera, then like. Most of the shit, like filming shit you see of my shit, the the BTS, the promo videos, all that, him. Mm-hmm. So it's like working on cameras and then coming into this, us all like yeah, putting our energy into podcast ideas and stuff, and just it's yeah. just it's, it's new. But I feel like everybody's having fun with it and doing their doing their own thing in their own lane. But it's finding what you're good at, I guess. Uh, but staying on the topic of. Of whatever we were talking about. Oh, well, we were talking about the Santi. I turned into yes. me. That's what the show's oh, about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I bring people on the show to talk about me. Uh-huh. Narcissist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Narcissist. Yeah. Like, yeah. Tell me things. Tell me things you like about me. That's that's my well, favorite that's, segment. That's... that's my favorite segment. No, but um. Like with my YouTube videos, is I, for so long, I tried to make educational videos to try to monetize them, mm-hmm. but then I realized I actually really just like vlogging, right? And I don't care if I'm not making money from it right now. But I just really enjoy still doing that uh, and a, podcasting too. And I think, and I think, oh, so you're the videos you're trying to monetize. That the purpose of making those the educational ones were to monetize it. That was the purpose. Well, I like inspiring people too and teaching people what I've learned. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I'm not in a place where I've learned enough to show for it. And that's very fucking self aware and <laughs> you analyzing that shit. That's, that's, that's but yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, like couldn't, I could agree more. I mm-hmm. was teaching a lot about entrepreneurship too and making money online. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't in a place where I could like I was self sufficient, but right. I wasn't rich. Yeah, to give advice. Yeah, you want to give advice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I feel that like you can still give advice through. Not a more, uh, not such an educational uh, way about it. The way that you do now, but through vlogging, like you vlog your my experience what you get, what, and what you do know about yeah. it, what you do your personal do. experiences. Yeah, I've been yeah. vlogging yeah. my journey, mm-hmm. right. and, the and then through the that podcast too, just naturally talk about this shit, like coming on to like the greatest podcast in the world. This one, like, and, and shout out, just talking that shit. Hey, look, we're gonna um, welcome back to the control room. We had a moment I had to go to uh, call my mom because I was getting real sad. But uh, we're here with the Santi, aka Internet Barbie, and she's about to premiere once again. This is the second time Control Room's done this this year. Really? We're Woo! premiering an unreleased, brand new song of an artist. First was Lily Aviana, and now it's Internet Barbie with her new single coming out called. Go bananas. Go bananas. That's right. Internet Barbie here, exclusive only on the Control Room podcast. I'm trying to speak this. You go bananas when I shake it. How do you suck dick with your braces on? And just open wide. <laughs> what? You go bananas when I shake it. Hey, hey, hey. Uh-huh, 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 that's hard. Uh-huh, 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 run that part back, Juice. Juice, run that part back. Run that part back. Run that part back.
look, and I told her, look, when you first sent me this song, when you first sent me this song, I told you it's my favorite part. That part right there, that's that's that not not let's create for TikTok, but that you did something and now that's just, that's that's perfect for TikTok. That's, Actually, I don't. I don't remember the you hate per- China? the person who recorded that well, you, part. You can I re-record that part it. easily. Yeah. I'm gonna re-record it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But we people didn't have to know that, so we'll cut that part out. Okay. Because when they hear it, it's just gonna be like, oh, and I remember then, that part. Yeah. Can we do that live right here? I'll be the girl that asked. So how do you suck dick with braces? Is that what she said? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? That was exactly it's it. It's because I used to have braces. Is it braces context. or braces on? How do you suck dick with your braces on? Okay. <clears throat> All right, action. Just make it your own. I'll switch it out. It can be your voice. But action. So how do you suck dick with braces on? <laughs> I didn't expect you to do that. How do you suck dick with braces on? You just open wide. Cut. That was it. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ask me that now. I can answer like you better than you just did. Okay. <clears throat> All right, action. And action. So how do you suck dick with braces on? You just open wide. <laughs> Cut. There you go, baby. I love never you. say never. <laughs> That's Justin Bieber. Never say never. Um, Desanti, this has been such a fucking fantastic episode. Thank you so much. Where are the my questions? Mom. Oh fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. My bad. We were vibing out, feeling out. Um. All right. This guy here, man. Bro, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Cut. Bro, can I ask the question? Show. Yo, I didn't even click on that. I don't know how I did it. My hands are right here. Stop. I don't know how I did that, but I'm just going to roll with it. That was kind of cool. All right, real quick, uh, my final question. I'm really scared. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. It's cool. It's you didn't cool. press the button? No, I didn't press, I didn't press anything. Dude. The mouse is right there. Oh, my God. Wait. My hand was right here. Oh, why is that? Why is that cord? You look dumbass. Dummy. Stupid. Oh, you made me look. Yeah. <laughs> You're so hey, cool. Um, <laughs> this one's you. What? Thank, Thank you. you for coming. And my oh, final no. question, everybody, uh, to just let the followers know, you know, before I let you out and tell me, hey, goodbye. There's no question. Uh, there is, but he, <laughs> but he, like, he's fucking with me. It's annoying. Stop fucking with me. I'm trying to get you on track, but Are I'm. Are you so- scared? No, don't be scared. <laughs> scared. <laughs> I feel like he's improvising. You oh, y'all saying I'm not prepared? No, I'm saying. Like, <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, trying, he's, trying, he's trying to prolong like the last. Okay, yo. <laughs> Desanti, final question of the day before we end it. What came first, the chicken or the egg? All right, there's an the answer. Look, this has been another episode of the Control <laughs> Room. Um, on your go, you look at that camera, or you can look at that camera, and I want you to tell them who you are. <laughs> you said look at that want, camera. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look at that camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah. We can pick one. up. Or just somebody pick that hoe up. Yeah, mm-hmm. Just grab the oh. camera, yeah. Okay, yeah, you can look at this camera. You can look at that camera. Uh, and I want you to just tell people who you are and that you've been on the control room. And then tell them, you know, what you got going on. Just be like, hey, baby, I got this on. But yeah, come on, baby. Yo, just come on, baby. Just listen to the new song. Come on. Bruh. Okay. All right? Yeah. Uh, action. <laughs> action. <laughs> hey. Hey, why are you? Yo. That's how I feel like he feels about that every time. That's why it's so funny he finally expressed it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how much time we got left? He was like, action. Like, cause I, like, Seven minutes. Cause, cause I don't, huh? Seven minutes. Because they, they don't know we're improv I'm doing improv He just comes out, so I'll be like, on Drew's action. And it's such a fucking hassle for Drew to open his fucking mouth and be like, action. <laughs> Yo, Fuck. CA's face is too hilarious. <laughs> what, do you, what, is that, what do you mean by that? You just mean serious business right now. You're standing on business. My standing bad. on business. You're standing on business. Huh? My bad. My bad. Yeah. How, do you, how would you say standing on business in Spanish? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So you're not Mexican. Mm, I am, You can but keep I don't that speak on me. Spanish. <laughs> Look at this camera. Yes. And tell them who you are. See. And this has been the Control Room Podcast and just anything else you want to say. Um, I'm going to be singing the national anthem in the background while you do this. Okay. Go. 
This is Internet Barbie, and I am on the Control Room podcast. Stream Go Bananas on any streaming platform. Thank you for having me. And the rockets regular The bombs bursting in there Sen- Sensitive ears, sensitive ears Gay proof through the night That the flag mm, soon there. Oh, say does that star Spankle banner Yeah, wait Free in the home of the Bree. It's been an episode of the Control Room Podcast. Uh, suck my dick. Bye. Uh, I felt like it went uh, good. There were some uh, moments where. You know, CA kind of got off a little bit about uh, penises, and it got really weird for a second. Uh, I almost visualized him naked when he said it, but, I mean, is that a bad thing? I thought we were having a really informative, in-depth, opinionated conversation, and then he just, like, brought up his penis, and I was really thrown off, and just really kind of threw off the vibe. I I wasn't expecting it. Oh, this episode was really weird. Um, Not sure why CA brought his up, but... I feel like everybody's talking about it. so it was it was good it was good I had a lot of fun dude we had the Santi on what a bore I think it was great I think it was great I'm thinking talk about my d-